Hey, welcome back to Watchful Studio. Uh, it's a fine autumn evening here in Tokyo and uh, it's only two days to the Tokyo game market. So I thought an interesting prelude to the game market would be these that I saw at the market uh, last year. They're acrylic token trays and they were given to me as a gift by a friend from my gaming group. Um, they cost about 2,000 yen, which is uh, $20, and they're available from Amazon and Rakuten and all the usual online distributors, and they can be found in about half of the uh, game shops uh, around the city as well. Let's take a closer look and see if they're worth that 2,000 yen. Okay, here's the packaging. A simple square box, uh, coarse cardboard, sea green uh, printing, and there's a slight deboss here, which is rather nice. Let's take a look inside. We've got six of these trays and you can see the plastic is almost transparent but it has this slightly green tint which is uh, echoing the, uh, the box there. Uh, I've discovered there's a black version which is still translucent but much darker. Now physically the edges are following the same shape as the base and they're flaring out at about 70 degrees I would guess and that size and shape works well to fit in the hand. Uh, the size is about uh, 11 centimeters here, I've measured this in 10 centimeters here. I've relatively small hands for a man and they're comfortable and pleasing for me and I think this combination of the size and the edge height uh, is going to work for almost everybody, men and women. So because of the shape we can fit uh, all six together if we really want to, uh, but what I'm doing is mostly distributing tokens around the board and six is quite a good number for that, that's usually covering most of my needs. I think the tint's pleasing, um, the way that light is reflected, uh, refracted through acrylics um, means that we get a bit of an edge around the, uh, the, the tray which I think is good. Um, and helps distinguish them one from another. And one of the things that's nice about the translucence is it doesn't obscure the game too much. I know this is a little accessory for games, but this is a strong design solution for this modest purpose, and I like the way these people are thinking, and um, I'm looking forward to meeting them. Now, although the underside of the base is flat to the table, the interior surface uh, has this little diamond shape embossed in it, um, which is following the shape of the uh, hull. Um, and it's not just cosmetic, it's to give you something to push against so that you can pick up the components. And you can see that that's just giving me something to pick up the, the piece against. Quite nice. So this shape is supposed to make uh, pouring easier and my experience is that although it's much better than these um, discount shop containers that you can get at a fraction of the price, um, it's obviously been compromised for uh, the stacking and the good shape in the hand that I've mentioned. I think for better pouring we would want a narrowing of the tip here and um, perhaps some sort of curvature here but um, obviously that would compromise the, the, the stacking. So it's not fantastic for pouring. It's just adequate and it's better than whatever else you were going to use. But on the whole, I think that's a design compromise that's been well made. Okay, this has been a pretty close look for an item that only cost $20 or so. And I wouldn't want to pretend it's um, any sort of eldritch magic that's going to suddenly transform your games. On the other hand, I think much of the reason we play physical board games is not just because we want to play the games. I think that we can do that on our computers and our smartphones pretty well. And it's not just because we want to enjoy them with others in person. I think we're playing board games because we're interested in the look and the touch and the feel of the different elements of the game and we want to physically move them around. That That's really why we're coming together to play board games. So the designers of these modest little trays are clearly board gamers and they understand that they're providing this small accessory to provide that experience. I think they've done a really nice job. Um, I'll put some links in the description section below so you can find them online or if you're here in Tokyo you can find them at their base in Tokyo and go and pay them a visit.
So I hope that look at the token trays was interesting for you. I really like them. Uh, I've been using them pretty much every game I've played for the last three months, um, much to the frustration of some of my gaming partners, but I really like them. Um, and I think well worth 2,000 yen for sure. And uh, in the next couple of days, we're visiting Tokyo Game Market, as I've mentioned. And uh, this year, we're going to try and cover not just Arclight Stand, as we've done in the past, who are the sponsors of the show and have this fantastic um, stand, as, as you can imagine. But uh, this year, we're going to cover as many of the independent game developers as we possibly can. And we're probably uh, we're going to get at least a dozen done. I'm, I'm going to see if I can do more than that, I've got a number in mind. We'll see if we can do it. Uh, so please tune in again for those. Enjoy your gaming. Bye-bye.